Hey guys, welcome back to another installation video. Uh, today we're going to be installing our Red Arc uh, Tow Pro brake controller to our Hilux. Um, we've just got the uh, brake controller itself. Um, we've got the Tow Pro switch insert for the N80 Hilux. And then we've just got uh, the universal um, wire and harness just to make it a little bit easier and neater. Alright, so we've just got the uh, generic uh, wiring diagram to run off. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so we're going to start by running our power cable out of this grommet here behind the second battery or where you would run the second battery normally. Um, and then we're also going to pull our cable through that goes down to our trailer plug and then follow um, the... I'm just probably just going to follow the... <coughs> wiring harness um, for the trailer plug itself um, so then it's all neat and tidy um, so I'll show you the easiest way to push cables through a grommet all right so we've got our two ends that we're going to push through the firewall um, they've got these little clips on it to clip into <clears throat> the plug that goes um, into the back of the controller um, so this is the power and then the other end of this goes down to your trailer plug. So we're going to start by taping up um, these plugs so that they're slim and don't get damaged when we push them through the wall. Now what I use is a bit of snake skin which is just flexible um, like protection <coughs> um, for the cables um, but if you don't have that you can just tie a bit of string or something to it and tape it on. So I'll feed this on. So that makes it nice and smooth to get through the grommet and if you pull on it it doesn't come off. Um, and then I make work out where I want it. I've got another hole on the I've made a hole on the other side already for some other cables um, <coughs> So all I need to do now Is I just push my screwdriver through I check on the other side make sure there's no cables or anything in the way and then I just push the screwdriver through itself and then I'll fold this over like that and then I'll push that through and then just pull it through alright so now that I've got um, that through I'll go through from the other side and pull it through as much as what I need um, and then we'll work on um, rooting it to where it needs to go Alright, so I need to make sure I've got enough cable, which I do, I've got plenty, so I'll pull more through to tidy it all up. Um, and then I'll run this to the back of the car, and then pull the slack um, that I have left uh, back into the cab. Now it's a good idea to wash your car before you do this, otherwise you get heaps of crap in your eyes. Um, I haven't and it's not real fun. Alright, so now we're going to connect 
um, this end into our trailer plug. All right, so if you're running this through a wagon or something like that, that you've got to get it through a lot of tight spaces if you want to run it inside the cab, um, you're probably better off running it um, the other way to what I did. So starting with the end that we just pushed into the cab, run it from the back of the vehicle first to the front um, because it does have a smaller head on it where this one I had to push um, that and there's like the diode box um, through the back which is fine on a dual cab running underneath the um, car but <clears throat> you may come into um, some issues if it's anything different to this possibly. Alright so now we're going to connect all this into our trailer plug. All right, so while I'm here, I'm going to change over to the 12 pin flat. Um, it's currently just got the seven pin flat on it. Um, you don't have to do this. It still runs fine with the seven pin flat, flat sorry. Um, but uh, with our caravan and stuff, uh, we're just gonna run the bigger one, um, which when you run the bigger one, uh, you can still plug the smaller uh, male into it as well, but you can't do it the other way around if you've got that um, seven pin. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how we wire all this in. So unfortunately something happened with the camera when I was um, videoing putting it all together. Uh, so pretty much just pulled the um, brake signal out of um, the old plug. So this one's from the factory harness. That then goes into this little um, joiner from, on, that's on the red arc harness. So you just slide that in, clip it in and then pull that up to suit so it's all in there and watertight. And then <clears throat> the red from the um, red arc harness goes into your uh, stop signal and then the blue goes into your service brake uh, which is number five um, and the red one, the stop one, is number six. Um, so that's all pretty straightforward. I'll just uh, tidy all this up now all right, so we're ready to clip um, our cables into the plug that will go into the back of um, the tow pro unit. Um, we're going to put our tow pro unit uh, next to the computer um, or all that wiring in there. Um, we'll put some zip ties around it and double sided tape to it. All right, so red goes to the far right there um, and then it goes blue and then black goes on this side you can see um, how there's a little step in them so that the step goes down so it clicks in like that and then same with the blue one so it clicks and then you've got the black one which is your positive to um, your battery And then this little tab um, that's on <clears throat> um, the back of the plug, you just break that off and then that clips into um, the plug to stop these uh, terminals coming out. Just like that. And then that will be ready to go into the back of the tow pro unit like that once we've mounted it. All right, so when you mount your <coughs> unit, that needs to be really firm um, because it uh, calibrates itself to the direction and angle that the car travels. So if that moves, um, then it'll uh, f uh, flash and come up with an error and then it'll have to recalibrate um, so it's yeah really important to get it firm and so it's not going to move around all right so now we need to mount our white earth up and that will go to the hole there inside of the car um, i'm pretty sure it's a m5 um, bolt so i've just found one laying around in the shed that i'm going to use all right, so I've put the plugs um, in the main unit. Um, I've got the control wire for it. 
um, which I'm going to fit um, into the dash here. So I'll show you how to get the dash apart and clip all that in. Alright, so to get this part of the dash out, um, to get that clip out um, and put the uh, red arc one in, just need to grab in there and on this side and just give it a good pull. All right, and then just sit that out there to the side like that um, and you'll be able to get your fingers in behind and push that plug out. Then we can put together uh, this, <coughs> the red arc one. All right, so you just put um, this controller in the back there and then this nut goes in like that. So now we can feed our cable, the control cable, in through the back here. Out through there. Clip it in. And then feed it back into the panel. Just like that. And then to put the dial on, Turn the dial all the way anti-clockwise and then line the zero up and push it on. Alright, now I'm just going to tidy all the wiring up, um, clip all this back in. So we've now hooked our positive uh, wire up um, so the brake controller should all now work. Alright, so it lights up blue. Um, meaning that there's power to it. Uh, it will flash, once you've connected a trailer up, it will flash uh, blue and green until it's um, calibrated. Um, and then it will just stay blue the whole time, which means it's in the proportional mode. Um, and then uh, you can also change it to just a user control, which means that um, if you have it set to two, it'll only break it two, but with the proportion um, on it, if you set it to two, it'll start at two and work its way up depending on the force um, that it feels that you're breaking. Alright, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please uh, hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.